Welcome to this guide on two powerhouse Linux distributions, OpenSUSE Leap 16.0 and Fedora Linux 43. If you are new to Linux, choosing your first distro can feel overwhelming. But I am here to break it down. I will explore their key differences and similarities, helping you decide which one fits your needs as a beginner. From stability to innovation, I will cover what matters most for a smooth start in the Linux world. Struggling to pick your first Linux distro, you are not alone. Newcomers often get lost between OpenSUSE and Fedora, wondering which is truly better. This video cuts through the confusion, showing you exactly what sets these two giants apart, so you can confidently kickstart your Linux journey today. Imagine setting up your perfect Linux system only to realize you picked the wrong foundation. What if there was a simple way to avoid that beginner's nightmare? We are diving deep into OpenSUSE and Fedora, revealing the hidden nonsense that truly matters when you are just starting out. You won't believe how different they actually are. Want to confidently choose your first Linux distro and avoid common beginner's pitfalls? This video is your ultimate guide. I am breaking down OpenSUSE and Fedora, giving you the clear, concise comparison you need to make an informed decision and ensure your Linux experience starts off right. Stop guessing, start knowing. First, beyond the buzzwords, why OpenSUSE and Fedora matters for beginners. Let's start by cutting through the hype. The distro dilemma is real, especially for beginners, because Linux offers so many options, and OpenSUSE and Fedora often top the list for good reasons. They are both free, open source, and RPM based, meaning they handle software packages in a similar way, which makes switching between them easier than jumping to something like Ubuntu. But why do they stand out? For starters, this distro strikes a balance between user friendliness and power. OpenSUSE Leap 16.0, released on October 1st, 2025, emphasizes reliability, making it ideal if you want a system that just works without constant tinkering. Fedora 43, which hit the scene on October 28th, 2025, focusing on cutting edge features appealing to those who like trying the latest tech. On the practical side, choosing one affects your daily workflow. OpenSUSE might save your headaches on older hardware, while Fedora could give you newer software faster. We are not just throwing specs at you. I'll show you how these choices impact real beginners, helping you make decisions based on your setup, not just recommendations from forums. First, the impressions, the core philosophies and ecosystems. Right out of the gate, this distro feel different because of their core philosophies. OpenSUSE Leap follows a stable and predictable approach, drawing from SUSE Linux Enterprise for a rock-solid performance. It's backed by a strong community and offers tools like the new EGMA installer in version 16.0, which makes setup more modern and intuitive. Think of it as a reliable daily driver, predictable updates every 6 months or so, with 24 months of support per release. Fedora, on the other hand, is all about cutting edge and innovative, which is sponsored by Red Hat. It's like a testing ground for features that eventually make it to enterprise systems. This means you get the newest software sooner, but with semi-annual releases that might require more frequent upgrades. For beginners, this translates to a fresh, modern feel right from install. In daily use, open source ecosystem feels polished for consistency, with strong community support. Fedora shines in innovation, like its atomic desktops for better security. Both support multiple desktop environments, but let's visualize that. Now under the hood, key distinctions in action. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Software management is a big differentiator. OpenSUSE uses the zipper via the command line or the graphical YAS tool for everything from installing apps to configuring your system. 
Yast is like a control center. Super handy for beginners. Avoiding the terminal. Package availability is solid. With access to community repos. But updates prioritize stability over speed. Fedora relies on DNF for package management, which is fast and efficient. It has massive repositories, including newer versions of software. But you might encounter more bleeding edge bugs. Both handle RPM packages. So software compatibility is similar. But Fedora often gets updates first. About the desktop environments. Open source defaults to KDE Plasma, but offers easy switches to GNOME, XFCE, and more during install. Customization is a breeze with Yast. Fedora Workstation comes with the GNOME by default, but spins let you choose KDE, XFCE, or others. Both are highly customizable, but Fedora's GNOME feels more streamlined for touch or modern workflows. Hardware compatibility is strong in both, but OpenSUSE edges out for older setups due to its enterprise roots. While Fedora shines on newer hardware with better driver support out of the box. For real world users, test on your machine, both supports live USBs. Now, navigating the learning curve, community, documentation, and support. No distro is perfect, so where do you turn? when things go wrong. OpenSUSE has a vibrant community with forums, a comprehensive wiki, and IRC channels. Their documentation is detailed, covering everything from installation to troubleshooting, and it's beginner-oriented. Events like release parties foster a welcoming vibe. Fedora's community is equally active with excellent official docs, a discussion forum, and real-time chat on Matrix. As a Red Hat project, it benefits from professional input, making guides clear and up-to-date. User feedback from places like Reddit and X highlights Fedora's helpful devs for quick fixes. Both have low barriers for help. Search the docs first, then ask away. If you're stuck, open source wiki might feel more exhaustive, while Fedora's forums are buzzing with fresh ideas. Now, making your informed choice. Which one is right for you? Wrapping up, OpenSUSE Leap 16.0 suits stability seekers, like corporate users or those with older hardware, who want a set it and forget it experience. It's predictable with tools that minimizes command line work. Fedora 43 is for LA adapters developers or tech enthusiasts who crave the latest features and don't mind occasional updates. It's innovative and forward-looking, which is perfect if you plan to dive deeper into Linux. To decide, try both. Download the ISOs, boot from a USB or use virtual machines like VirtualBox. Dual booting is an option if you are ready to commit. Remember, Linux is flexible, you can always switch. Thanks for watching. If this helped, like and subscribe for more Linux tips. Drop your choices in the comments. Which distro are you trying first?